at everything. You know, it, it's effortless for him, right? Like, he just goes right for it. But I think with this, like, he grew up in the water, right? Like, this is actually where he grew it's up. It's true. So did I, though. But in a different ocean. But I'm not nearly as comfortable with the water as he is, right? Yeah. Like, he's the he's only one out there. Check it out, man. That's huge. He's the only person surfing this beach right now, today. Is he okay? He's fine. But that undertow yeah. current, like, man. It is so powerful it's here. It's crazy. Like, when Goro was talking about it, we were at the other beach. I feel like we didn't really feel it that We didn't much. feel it there. We staying in the shallow end, yeah. but like. It wasn't, when we were in uh, Puerto Escondido, I don't think the waves, the, the tow was definitely not as strong. But the waves, remember, were not as high as they normally are that day we were there. Yeah, that's true, maybe and that's it. And there like, were so many people on the beach. Like, for me, the beauty of this place, a big part of it is that there's nobody here, yeah. right? And it is obviously about all of the aesthetic, about what's going on, but we're at the foothills of the mountains, at the beach, on our own basically private beach. Where else do you get to do that? I've never had this experience before. There's no way that if people knew that this was here, they wouldn't come. That's it. Right around the corner. Like it took us, what, 10 minutes to walk here? We were here in 15 minutes, yeah, 10, 15 minutes. Hey, I can't even see him. Let's stand up and check it out. 